Hello Shed friends. Thank you so much for, for watching this video. I've got 10 tips today that I want to share with you of how to get more sales on eBay. Okay, number one, first tip I want to give you is quality accurate photos. The reason that I put accurate in there is because if your photo, your photos can be just top notch. I mean you can, you can uh, you know, remove the background and put a pure white background behind it, make it just look like it's floating in there. But if the colors um, are not correct, if it is not an accurate representation of the item that you're selling, then then you can have problems. The second tip, and I've tried to put these kind of in order, but the second tip is proper title formation. Um, a lot of the items that I, when I started, I did not know how to form a title. I had no idea that it was important and there was... There actually was a, a process for forming a title. We have to, when we're forming titles, you have to look at it from the customer's perspective. What are they searching for? So um, I'm just going to give you my pattern, um, the, how I structure my titles. It's not the end all be all. You can, you can do it how you want, but uh, uh, I go. And, and, and all of what I'm going to share with you today is, is really from my experience in selling clothing a lot of this will carry over to whatever you're selling but my my title structure always starts with brand gender um item like say if it's a shirt uh size color and then keywords if our title is not structured right you might as well just give up selling it because you won't even be able to find it in, in the searches so if we don't structure our titles right our item will not sell and it will just linger forever in the back of the store third thing i want to mention is item specifics item specifics are your friend we need to be filling out as many of the pertinent item specifics that we can there's a lot of item specifics specifics that are not pertinent um, but the ones that are pertinent we need to really be filling those out number four and this really this really goes to to talk about repeat business number four is is professionalism if we give somebody the wrong impression that 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 we are fly by night, we are just uh, we don't care about what we do. They're not going to come back and do business with again. We, I take what I do very seriously, and, and and I try to be very professional in everything that I do. I try to be professional in all the things, all of my materials that I pack in, um, you know, to try to be as professional as possible. Tip number five to get more sales is to use promotions. Those things are great tools, number one, to move older inventory. Those things also draw attention to the other items in your store. So not only does it help to sell some of that older merchandise, it draws attention to the other items in your store. Tip number six is coupons. Coupons are a great tool. You can use a public coupon. Uh, that that anybody can use in your store you can use private coupons that you can send out to people the coupons are a tremendous tool that you can use tip number seven tip number seven is really probably should be number one but tip number seven is to buy items that people want to buy you can you can go to the, go to the thrift store and just buy a bunch of stuff and list it i mean you can have the best pictures you can have the best title structure you can be professional you can run promotions you can run coupons but if it's something that nobody wants to buy it's not going to sell number eight is important as well it's probably number one or number two itself is to price appropriately more times than not when when stores don't get sales when sales are slow more times than not it's because you priced out of the market you know i i know the feeling you go and you find this great item you find this great item and you're like, boy, this is a home run. And, you know, you list it and you think, boy, you list it maybe a little higher than you think you should. And it sits and it sits and it sits and it sits because it's priced. It's priced you out. It's put you out of the market. There's other people that are selling it cheaper. You have to know what your market is. A good way to tell if your price too high is to run about a 20% off coupon through your store. If you get a lot of sales just like that, that tells you your price about 20% too high. Number nine. This is number one, I can tell you. And as far as importance, this is probably number one. That is consistency in listing. You know, you you go on Facebook, you go on a Facebook group, and you see time after time after time people post. I'm not selling anything. Nothing in my store is selling. eBay's slow. eBay's not slow. There's the people are buying stuff every single day. The problem is not eBay. All right, 
We, we got to get that out of our head. I hear it so many times. eBay's, eBay's messing me over. eBay's doing this. eBay's hiding my listings. eBay's, it's not eBay. The problem is not eBay. The problem is us. There's no secret to eBay. It, it, it's, the secret is, is us. Most of the time, you see people, they'll say, hey, you know, my sales just dropped off. I, I don't know what's wrong. eBay slowed it. I'm not selling anything. More times than not, you ask them, well, when's the last time did, did you list anything today? Oh, they say, well, I listed three or four days ago, or I listed some last week, but I haven't listed in, in a week or two. And guys, that, that's why e eBay is looking for people that stores that are consistent. So that's that's number nine. Be consistent in listing. And that brings me to tip number 10. That's to list more. And I'm going to tell you the great thing about eBay, the more you list, the more you will sell. And, and let me back that up a little bit because when I say the more you list, I mean the more quality items, the more quality items that are that have quality photos, that have quality title formation, that have quality item specifics, those items will sell. The more you put those up, the more they will sell, guys. It, it's just simply, it's, it simply comes down to us. Are we willing... To put in the work to produce a quality listing that is the key all right guys i hope this has helped you i hope there's there's some nugget in these 10 things that 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 encourages you it helps you in your store to get more sales on ebay this year guys make today awesome